Breaking news now. The United States has become increasingly irritated by Ukraine's methods. It might endanger the success of the counterattack. According to the New York Times, U.S. officials are growing increasingly frustrated with the way Ukraine is fighting the war. The authorities are concerned that Ukrainian forces are not concentrating their strength where it is needed. They said Ukraine should alter its strategy if it wants to hasten its counteroffensive. Some U.S. officials appear worried as Ukraine continues its slow moving counteroffensive against Russia. Six anonymous U.S. officials have recently expressed concern over certain aspects of the Ukrainian military strategy, including the location of their frontline combat units, to the New York Times and other media outlets. According to the officials, Ukrainian commanders are splitting their forces down the middle between the countries east and south, when they should be consolidating more in the south. According to the reports, they urged Ukraine to push through the extensive minefields left behind by Russia in the area. Doing so could result in greater losses of Ukrainian soldiers and equipment. Due to Russia's extensive defenses, Ukrainian forces have been compelled to abandon some of their cutting edge Western tanks in favor of manual mine clearance, which often requires small teams of soldiers to crawl on their hands and knees. Defense Ministry of Ukraine Everyone is now an expert on how we should fight, posted Thursday on social media. Just a friendly reminder that nobody knows this war like we do. Kyiv has claimed it is making progress despite high expectations, a lack of necessary equipment, and strong Russian defenses, as previously reported by insiders Ryan Pickrell. However, experts are concerned that such high expectations will lead to less support from Western countries for Ukraine in the future which could jeopardize the counteroffensive. Postdoctoral researcher in the Department of War Studies at King's College London, Marina Myron, told Insider, politicians are realizing that it is not going to be a short war and will most likely take many years to support Ukraine. She warned that political support could dwindle because politicians don't understand the military. Royal United Services Institute, Rusi, Senior Associate Fellow David Lewis told Insider that current Western official frustration might prompt a rethink in strategy. He said, talk of no-fly zones or early NATO membership for Ukraine is fanciful, and added, any direct intervention by NATO countries remains extremely unlikely. As a result, Western governments are adjusting to a longer time horizon and will need to rebalance support for Ukraine accordingly. There is a growing realization that an early Ukrainian victory that ends the war is unlikely, and Ukraine and the West are involved in what could be a long, drawn out conflict, he said. More calls for talks could be on the horizon. Even if there are covert conversations, Lewis says they won't go very far because Russia doesn't seem willing to back down. Some have suggested that Ukraine enter into negotiations with Russia to break the current impasse. The West has invested a lot of money and resources into Ukraine's military over the past year and a half, and they deserve some sort of return on their investment. The president of the Transatlantic Dialogue Center in Kyiv, Maxim Skripchenko, has stated that this does not give anyone the right to pressure Ukraine into submission. Instead, Western leaders should take Ukraine's lack of progress over the past two months as a call to action. Their reaction will have far-reaching effects on international politics for years to come.